Hello guys, Norsource here, and uh, welcome back to Smurf are Done, the World War I first person shooter. And today I'm going to be talking about a terrible spawning, because so oh, you thought Call of Duty was the only game. Nope. If you thought Call of Duty was bad, then you haven't seen Verdun, <laughs> especially on this map right here. Uh, I guess you could see it on the screen right now what I'm talking about. Um, so I've sort of found this spot on this map, in this trench, which you can see right here, where if you lay down where I am laying right now, you can quite literally just keep picking off people who spawn right in front of you. I mean, look at that! What the hell is that?! Uh, of course, I had to uh, misuse this little exploit slash... I don't know, what do you want to call it? Uh, basically, how it usually goes is that you keep laying down and you keep just slaughtering and murdering until you... Um, uh, get shot from behind because someone spawns behind you and that's kind of karma I guess for um, Killing for spawn killing so many people. I didn't really know if I wanted to show this video because I didn't know if I wanted this to get known that there was such a little cheap spot right there Of course there are more uh, spawn ca spawn capping spots if you want in this game than just that one but this one is by far the most efficient because you can always guarantee pretty much that someone will spawn in that exact point as long as you lay at that exact point or it's not like exact exact but in general if you play this map right here which I can't I can't I don't even remember what it is and I if I did I wouldn't even be able to pronounce it because it's French damn you World War One history making it so that the front line is put in France thereby making all the maps unpronounceable but uh, oh well can't change history can we now um, so, uh, I mean, and this map is uh, sort of a typical example of spawn camping in this game. Mainly because it's so big, and that's basically what you see a lot in uh, this game, I feel. It's killing people in long range. Uh, because I believe I've mentioned this before, but I haven't really noticed that there's any sort of uh, range penalty for killing people when you're far away from them. Your weapon does equally uh, much damage when you're like a mile away. And when you're, you know, two meters away, you know, and that was just random numbers. I didn't mean that as, as any exact analysis of whatever. But here you, here you can see once again. I mean, imagine if my weapon had like ten shots in it before I had to reload. I could just destroy those people. But sadly, I only have three shots because I chose kind of a uh, semi-shitty rifle. But I've come to like it though. Uh, it's the uh, fuck. I don't remember what's called. It's the bottom one. Like if you. In the list, I believe it's five uh, bolt-action rifles, and if you go all the way to the bottom, you'll find the one that I'm using right here. And I can't choose anything else until I have leveled this rifle here to level um, 30. It's so, you can see on the screen right now, I just leveled up. I don't know exactly what that level is, because the resolution of this preview screen in Sony Vegas is not good enough for me, me to be able to read it. But it was either 20 or 30. No, not 30. That would be the unlock. So 20 or 10. I'm guessing 10, because this is gameplay recorded quite a while ago. Um, so yeah, but back to spawn camping, Get a, getting a little bit off topping here. Um, or just long range killing. Uh, so this works on a lot of maps, like I feel like this is gen in general a thing. Uh, so if you want to get a lot of kills and stuff on this game, then a good way to do that would be to pick off people on long range. Because I mentioned, there's no penalty for shooting people on long range. I mean, even if you're using the machine gun, which you can use in the territories game mode, uh, this is the uh, rifle deathmatch one. Not the territories one, uh, but if you like, even the machine gun can, with perfect accuracy, just mow through people at forever far away. I haven't done too much testing with the pistols, so I don't know exactly how that works. But um, I mean, that's something I really would love. I really wish they would change in this game, other than the fact that they need to fix the spawns or just edit the map so that you can't, you know, do this stuff I'm doing right here. Uh, I would like for them to make stuff less accurate on long range because I feel like that's a little bit of a problem now. Calling it a problem seems a little um, weird, but I, to be honest, think it is something that I wish were changed. Like, I wish they add a little bit more sway to the scope and maybe had like a perk in the territories one. Like, one squad does not have as much sway so you can pick up people in long range while the other ones have more sway and like different weapons have different amounts of sway for example the the carbine rifle I'm using right here or one of the carbine rifles anyone the French one uh, should have like more sway than the than this one for example the level simply because it's shorter and thereby less accuracy or of course sway doesn't necessarily have anything with barrel length to do but you get what I mean 
Uh, I really, and, and the same applies for machine guns, they shouldn't be as accurate, like every weapon in this game are far too accurate in my opinion, it's far too easy to kill people on long range, you can see this in the territories game mode, that people just shoot each other from ages away instead of going close up and getting dirty with the mud and the bayonets and the violence and all that. Uh, so that was some opinions and some gameplay and some spawn camping, sorry to all the people I've killed, uh, but this is the end of the video, so you no longer have to suffer through this bullshit. So, thanks so much for watching this Verdun video, hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, bye.